In this episode, I'll demonstrate some examples on how to add data to database uh, using .NET. Uh, okay, so I'll call this add new data. Add new data. And let's reuse all this. Okay, so for this, we'll write insert um, SQL statement command. Uh, let's call this SQL equals to insert, insert into, and this will be the table name. Let's say that we want to insert to transaction table, this table. And first will be um, the field names and then the values. Okay, so here we'll put in the field names and then values and here we will put the values that we want to insert um, so the field names should be up here somewhere um, so we want to insert into these fields and let's say that we want to insert a value called my uh, for the date let's say uh, first of 2020 and the amount let's say that uh, here we'll just disable this for now we'll execute non query and this part is relevant here Okay, so we'll insert into this database to these fields, and these are the values we want to add. Um, let's add a button. Let's call this. The data. Let's try this. So here's the data we just added now. Uh, let's try some more examples. I'll try to keep this short. So like we did up here, we can also add a parameters instead of specifying a value like this. Um, let me just comment this out and you can also just put a question mark like this, or you can also add a parameter name, like a client ID, um, add t date, and add amount, something like that. And we can reuse this part. So here we can specify this, and the type of data is going to be this dot value is equal to. Uh, let's say my and then we'll put do now just to differentiate the data um, and let's replicate these lines she should be enough um, second one will be the date and third will be a melt so date data type will be date and this amount data type will be the um, so for the text, you put, you know, like double quotes in, you know, like uh, in the beginning and end. And for the date, you specify with this uh, hash. So let's say 12 of, um, let's say May 12, 2020. And the amount can be, um, Okay, so we are you know, like setting up the parameters name here, like a placeholder, and then we are adding those values here by specifying the data type as well. Um, this is very useful, especially when your query is very long. And then there are, if you sometimes put in like, uh, instead of this, you specify um, setup 
your SQL in this fashion. Let's say this is text box one dot value, something like that. Uh, Sometimes, you know, like uh, when you have lots of this, you can miss out on single quotes and double quotes and it will lead to error. So this setting up this way is also another useful way of setting, writing your query. Um, so let's try this. <coughs> Okay, so this is the value we just added. Right here. So I think that will be pretty much it. In the next video, I'll show you how to write update uh, query and then followed by, you know, like delete and then we'll explore more examples on how to export the data as well.